Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a trick for how you can get these category labels in your bar chart on the left side, on the inside of your bar, and have your data labels still exist on the right side or inside the end of each of these bars. There's not a way that you can do it in the default chart types um, when you're sort of adjusting the label positioning, but you can do it with just a little bit of a hack to the bar chart. So I'm going to show you how to do it first down here. So all you need to do is set up your bar chart and like you normally would you have your data column your label series here and I'm going to go ahead and insert a, insert a regular 2d 2d bar chart here I'll scroll down and make it a little bit bigger so folks can see it and I'm going to play with the gap width first I'm going to adjust that to make it make the bars much thicker I usually like to do like 30 percent there and what I'm going to do here is first I'm going to insert the data labels that I want so I have the data label options they're going to default to outside the end but I want to put them inside the end of the bar so go over here to the format data label tab the little bar chart icon right here and then down here to label position and you can play with wherever you want that but I'm going to say inside end for now it just puts them right on the inside of the end of each of those bars you can adjust the font so I'm going to make it white so it'll have a nice contrast and I'm going to maybe increase it to 16 points and then make it bold okay so there's the first part of our bar chart now I need to actually create a new series of data a dummy series of data so I'm going to go ahead and copy this data right here just control C and control V and I'm just going to label that dummy data and when I highlight my chart, you can see it will ho also highlight the source data. And all I need to do now is take my little cursor until the arrows pop up and just drag it over so that I can include that dummy series of data. And now you, now you see we just have a clustered bar chart. So it's the exact same series, it's just above. And you can actually treat each of these series separately. So if I click on the orange bars, all the orange bars highlight. If I click on the blue bars, all the blue bars highlight. So when I click on the orange bars, I'm going to add labels the same way to them. So I'm going to go ahead, right click, add data label. And then instead of inside the end, I'm going to set this to inside the base. And so we're going to say inside base there. I'm going to go ahead and format to match so I'm going to make sure it's 16 point font oops and then bold all right but I don't want the number value I want the category value here so over here on the format data label tab the bar chart icon under label options you can see here that the value box is checked I'm going to unselect that box and then I'm going to select the category name box and that puts my label categories in to that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my y-axis labels here I don't need them anymore so I'm just going to delete them and now what I want to do is overlap the orange bar with the blue bar so I'm going to go ahead and select one of the series of data it doesn't matter which series you select go back to the format data series menu go to the bar chart icon here and you'll see under series options the gap width that's where we adjusted the gap width you can also adjust the series overlap so as I go ahead and click this to make it more of an overlap you'll see that the bars will start overlapping but the labels stay on the very top so everything is good I'm going to put this all the way up to 100 percent so there's complete overlap and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my x-axis, get rid of my grid lines because everything is directly labeled. And I'm going to just go ahead and adjust the color, the fill color there to that blue again. And that's really how you can accomplish this. Another really cool thing that you can do is uh, with this technique is put your labels above the bars. So let's go ahead and select that. I'm going to go back to the series overlap and put it back to zero. And now what I'm going to do is actually, first I'm going to, uh, highlight the labels I'm going to turn those blue so I'm going to recolor those to blue and then I'm going to highlight this top data series and just select the fill color to none no fill and so there you have data labels above each of your bars which is another great uh, technique to use so I hope you enjoy this and I hope it works mm -hmm.